look in the pan to see what is left. Now we've stopped pumping this pan, I say we, I mean Juma, because of course there is so much water in the Juma Dam, so there's no real point in us pumping clean water into here. But what's quite nice now is that it's empty and so you can see the mud and the detritus that would have been left here by, of course, the drought. Now look how deep it is. There we are, that's pretty deep. And just remember that this is not just mud. This is now covered or filled with all sorts of nutrients. And so when water comes on here again, when this eventually fills again, it will be a very rich source of nutrients for especially algae. The algae in turn will be eaten by things like Egyptian geese and perhaps a little bit even by the terrapins. They in turn will be eaten by other creatures. And that's basically a small indica or a small illustration of the nutrients cycle that takes place here. Here, in this mud, from all the dung that's been deposited here, is an enormous repository of nutrients for lots and lots of creatures eventually. But it will begin with the algae. When the water comes here and the algae starts to bloom, that will be the start of the cycle of nutrients that goes through here. Yes, it will.